Hi, welcome to the Stars are Bright, an exhibition of just under 80 paintings and sculptures by over 40 artists, painted between 1940 and 1947 at the Cyrene Mission School near Bulawayo in Zimbabwe. Hello, I'm Jessica Hedgito. I'm one of the curators of The Stars Are Bright. I'm going to talk to you about a real highlight in the collection, Livingston Sango's The Good Shepherd, which was made in 1945. Um, so it's a really, really beautiful painting. I think one of the first things you'll notice is the just wonderful use of colour. So a really interesting thing about the collection on a whole is the use of the colour green. You will very rarely find two greens that match in the collection and that's because the students who made the pictures mix their own blues and yellows together. One really interesting thing about this picture is the flora in it. So you will see the trees, so there's over 2,000 leaves painted just in this picture in various hues. Um, no two trees are painted the same colour and it's a kind of, it's quite dreamy because obviously trees don't come in blues and they don't come in purples but um, the artist here has completely use their own mind and imagination to reimagine Jesus as the Good Shepherd, but set in Zimbabwe. Another wonderful thing to look at, which you can kind of play a game of I Spy, is with the animals within, within the painting. So there's clip springers, there's aardvarks, there's peacocks and many other wonderful animals within, within the painting as well. I'm Chiazza, one of the curators of the show, The Stars Are Bright. And this painting is titled The Stars Are Bright by the artist Musa Nyawa. This painting and its title fully encapsulates the vibrancy and the energy in the show. It celebrates the joy, the brilliance of these young artists um, who are very young men aged between 10 and 20. Musa starts moving away from depicting reality. His flowers are nearly the same size as the stars, painted very boldly in white against a black and blue sky. And as with the other paintings, all of the page is filled up, full of life, full of vibrancy, and full of his individual personality and character. Hello, my name's Georgia Ward, and I'm one of the co-curators for The Stars Are Bright. This painting behind me of a man attacking a leopard is by Adamech Moyo. It looks very simple at first glance, with just a very light tonal range and colours of mauve and greens. But if you look closer, there's a delicate border drawn around the edge in pencil and washed with green. The man is holding an axe in one hand and he looks like he's about to attack a leopard who is growling at him very fiercely from the rocks. It's very iconic looking and it's very finely drawn but it's a very bold image of these two characters locked in this frame. 